Hello, I'm Patrick. Today we're going to be prepping canvases by creating backgrounds, fading acrylics. Um, thank you for joining me. Okay, for today we are going to be prepping canvases and we're going to do a faded background using acrylics. So some of my materials here today is a uh, 14 by 18 canvas. I have three different brushes, a three inch, a two inch, and a one and a quarter. And we're gonna start with those dry. And then I also have the colors bright blue, Caribbean, and white. So I'll just have a couple palettes here that we'll start with. And we'll start by adding a color to the palette. I like to use enough on here that I can get my paintbrush nice and wet, but not too much. You can always add more. And I'm gonna start with the two inch brush. And so I wanna do a fade between the darker color and the lighter color to the middle, and then back to the darker color again. So I'll show you this technique that I use, is just get the brush nice and wet, and start applying. Now we're gonna to wanna to start about about two brush widths from the top and then work your way towards it. Add some more color and continue on down. You can get the, the nice thick coat all the way nice and even. Make sure to bring it all the way up to those edges. Now we're going to leave the middle blank and go to the other side. So again, two brush widths in. Nice and even all the way across. And then we'll go ahead and bring that paint all the way to the top. So we'll further down. And get it on there nice and thick. Go ahead and load up the brush again and bring it towards the middle. And we've got a nice even layer on either side of the center of this canvas. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more to the top. Keep that acrylic, since it dries so quick, we want to keep it nice and moist as we're working. I'm going to go ahead and set this brush down and go ahead and grab my one and a quarter. And add some color to the palette. Just go to mount, just enough to get your brush wet a couple times. That brush nice and wet. And then start in the middle. And go towards one side. Get the brush nice and wet again. And again, start in the middle, nice and thick, and work that color all the way to the edge. I'm going to add more and more of this color until it gets a nice thick coat. And this is going to be this is an easy way to use acrylics fading um, for a nice background and later on I'll show you how to to add a design to the background of this so now without touching the other colors I added that nice thick blue line in the middle just get a little more paint on there and then nice and thick all the way to the edges That looks nice. You can go back and forth as much as you want and just keep it nice and moist. Now before this other color dries, I'm gonna take my wider brush, it's a three inch, and we're gonna start just right up here by the blue. I'm gonna go across with a dry brush, 
and start giving it strokes back and forth until it starts to blend. And you kind of go up with it and back down. Go up with it and back down. And you're, gonna, you're just blending the colors here as we go. Kind of stick into the middle between the two. Go until it's nice and blended, all the way to the edges. I'm just going from one color back to the other. With full strokes all the way from one side of the canvas to the other. And now starting to get a little dry, so I'm going to finish here with some nice light strokes back and forth, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and give the brush a flop, so the darker colors on this side. And we'll go ahead and start right in the middle again. And we can go up into the darker blue and back down into the lighter. Again, making the strokes full length all the way from one side to the other. Up into the darker color. Back down into the lighter color. Full straight strokes from one side to the other. You can see the acrylic is starting to dry now a little bit. So we'll go ahead and lighten up our strokes. spot over here that's on the top can be seen blue. Let's make sure those colors are getting right to the edges. And there we have it. It's as simple as that to make a background for any painting. So this is just using acrylic. I didn't um, water the acrylic down with too much water, and we just used a dry brush to blend them easily together. So there you go. We'll be adding a design onto this later, and thank you so much for joining me today.